to lure or the attraction of, the pull, an enticement, persuasion, coaxing, an appeal, to entice to sin or to do evil. All of this is temptation. Yes. We all face it at one time or another. But God gives us his word yes. to strengthen us and direct us yes. and to help us. Yes. So today, for our guidance through temptation, God always tests us to bring out our best. Yes. Satan tempts us to bring out the worst. Amen. Since God intends us to make us like Jesus, he will take us through the same experiences Jesus went through. Yes. That includes loneliness, mm. temptation, mm. stress, mm. criticism, mm. rejection, mm. and many others. Yes. The longer you look at temptation, ah. the more liable you are to fall into it. Mm. The best way to escape temptation is to run to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Temptation usually comes through a door mm -hmm. that was deliberately left open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every temptation is an opportunity to do good. Every time Satan suggested a temptation to Jesus, Jesus countered by quoting scripture. Amen. Idleness is a constant sin and labor is a duty. Yes. Idleness is the devil's home for temptation and for unprofitable distracting reflections. Yes. While labor profits others and ourselves. Amen. And to take with us this week, no matter what evil is pressing us, let's follow Jesus' example and do what's right. Amen. To withstand temptation, stand on God's word. Amen. Mm -hmm. The word temptation has come to mean something bad to us today. Mm. But we tend to use the word in the wrong way. Mm. Temptation itself is not a sin. It's something we are bound to face simply by virtue of being human. Amen. Not to be tempted would mean that we are already so shameful that we are beneath contempt. Mm. Yet many people suffer from temptation they should never suffer simply because they refuse to allow God to lift them to a higher level where they would face temptations of another kind. Amen. A person's inner nature, what they possess in the inner spiritual part of their being, determines what they are tempted on on the outside. Yes. The temptation fits the true nature of the person being tempted and reveals the possibilities of their nature. Every person actually determines or sets the level of their own temptation yes. because temptation will come to them in accordance with the level of their controlling inner nature. Ooh. Don't be surprised by temptation at unlikely times and in unlikely places. Wow. Jesus wasn't tempted inside the temple yes. or at his baptism, mm. but in the desert where he was tired, alone, and hungry, yes. and thus most vulnerable. Yes. The devil often tempts us when we are most vulnerable, when we, were, when we are under physical or emotional stress. For example, when we are lonely, tired, weighing big decisions, or faced with uncertainty. Yes. But he also likes to tempt us through our stress, mm. where we are most susceptible to pride. Mm. We must guard at all times against his attacks. Temptation is not something we can escape. In fact, it's essential to the well-rounded life of a person. Being aware of thinking that you are tempted like no one else. What you go through is common 
inheritance of the human race, not something that no one else has ever endured. God does not save us from temptations. He sustains us in the midst of them. Amen. We as God's children never have to give in to temptation. 1 Corinthians 3 and 10 tells us, For God will make a way of escape. Amen. But we must be conscious of our vulnerability. Jesus therefore emphasized the need for humble dependence on God. He called us to recognize our human frailty and to acknowledge that we on our own are no match for the triple foe, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Yes. God has given us the strength we need to stand against our adversary and the temptations in life. The Bible tells us in Romans 4.16 that sin shall no longer be your master. Amen. Because of God's loving grace to us through Jesus Christ. As you run to Jesus when temptation comes, he enables you to stand in his strength. Nothing in this life can overcome him. Amen. Because we are told in John 16.33 that he has overcome the world. Amen. As we submit ourselves to our Savior, yielding our wills to Him in the moment, and walking in obedience to God's Word, He is helping us. When we give in to Him instead of giving in to temptation, He is able to fight our battles. In Him, we can overcome. Amen? Amen. We thank the Lord for His Word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection, and then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds open to receive what thus saith the Lord this morning. 